Joining me right now is the South Central Calhoun boys 4x1, 4x800 relay team down here at the state meet. And guys, I want to thank you very much for joining us. Let's talk with Dylan Addison right now, who started off things today. Dylan, how'd you feel out here today? Uh, pretty tight. Pressure stretch more. It's really warm. Well, Dylan, you kind of get out in the front of that pack on the outside there. Uh, how did things go for you when you cut in? Uh, Right there, I was at the pack on the first 200, and then, I don't know, I just tried running my race, and it, it didn't work out this time. So usually it works out, and I get back to, towards the front, but they were just faster. What was the strategy for you today? Uh, I was just going to get out, first 150 pretty fast, then stride as hard as I could, next four, and then kick on that last two, and it... It didn't work, so. He take a little bit out of you today? I think so. Sitting here all day, probably. What did you learn from today, maybe? Uh, find shade. <laughs> so. We'll let you go find some. Appreciate all you right, joining thank us. Thank you. Dylan Addison again. Let's move over now to Ryan Daisy. Ryan, you've been here before. No, uh, uh, no, no you sir. have not. You have not. That's right. Now, what, was, what, what was it like for you today kind of getting prepared for this? Well, it was definitely a different experience, all except Jake. None of us have ever run at this level before. And, yeah, it was just to come and see what this life is like. What was it like then? What was the experience like? Well, look, a lot of people okay. hold up a race. It kind of reminds me of my first time I was at State Cross Country freshman year. Whole lot, whole different kind of sport, whole different sport. How did you feel out there running today? I have to say what Dylan did, and it's a little warm. I'd much rather run in, like, the 40s than up in the 70s. <laughs> do you feel like you are ever able to hit your stride today? What? No, uh, a little warm and it was a little off out around here, yeah. Different kind of track. What was your strategy coming into today? Uh, the plan was just to run. I had the rest of the weekend off because this is our only event, so I was just going to give it all today and saw it, see what happens. Did you feel like you left it all out there? Oh, yes, sir. That kick was everything I had. Did you feel like you had a pretty good handoff and were in pretty good shape after you handed off to Zach? Is that, I thought our hands off were really good. I didn't I didn't expect to have to veer all, all the way out to lane eight. That kind of threw me off a little bit. Uh, but no, in the end, when he moved in, we were all right. Well, Ryan, I appreciate you joining us here today. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Let's move down to Zach Ledwig now. Zach, kind of a different handoff according to Ryan, having to veer out to lane eight and then coming in. How did that impact you right away? Well, I don't know. I guess I really didn't know what to do then. I figured because the guy outside, Ryan was passing their guy. So I figured I'd just go in so we get the handoff and it ended up working out. We got the handoff and everything. So, do you feel strong at the beginning of the race? Um, yeah, I like to start out pretty strong. That first hundred, maybe a 150. Do you follow your strategy pretty well today? Um, yeah, fairly well. I, thought. I like to pick it up that last four a little, and then that last two just see what I got left. So, did you feel like you had it left today? I had some of them kick left. I caught a kid at the kick, so. I'll take it, I guess. First time down here, any nerves coming into this? Um, I was a little nervous right before, but I would not really say all that many. What are the experiences you're going to take away from being at State? Well, um, just, you know, just have fun down here and do your best, and then what else can you do after that, I guess? Well, Zach, appreciate you joining us here today. Congratulations. Thank you. Let's move over now to Jake Petzenhauser, ran the last anchor here. And Jake, you had said to me before, I don't know why they got me running 800s. Well, the way you got out today, that's probably why. You look strong early. How did you feel? I felt good. I got out my first 100 and then broke into my stride and felt smooth the whole way through. What was your strategy coming in here? Um, I knew I wanted to get out strong that first 100 and then settle in and just see where I was. And I, there was a kid a little ways in front of me, and I decided to settle in right next to them and then decided to go that last 200. And, try to kick past them. Did you feel good on that last 200? Yeah, I felt smooth. I mean, I started tightening up a little bit towards the end, but I finished strong, so I felt pretty smooth. And As you came through on that first 400, did you peek up at the clock, kind of see where you were at? No, I was too focused on the kid ahead of me. Did you end up kitting that kid? Um, one of them, yes, and then the other one, no. What are you going to take away from being in the 4x8 down here at State? Um, shows me what the 4 by is like. I mean, getting thrown in at the last three of meets was fun. It's fun to be down here with this group of guys and enjoy it with these guys and get them their first experience down here. What do you think you were put into the 4 by 8 Well, Tanner Schrod, he was supposed to be in it, but he decided that the 32 was going to be his best race and he could probably get down here in this. But unfortunately, he never made it. But I ran a good enough time that they left me to let me stay in it. Glad to make you in it then? Yeah, I suppose. Well, I tell you what, Jake, appreciate you joining us here today. Best luck coming up in that 400 hurdles. Thank you.